Hey guys, what's going on? Um, you know, I don't know where to start this video. Sorry about the background noise, nothing can do about that. Um, long story short, as you can see in the garage, or the garage, if you want to pronounce it, I do have a T77 um, premium tank. I bought it. Um, I haven't taken it out in any kind of battles yet, but I, ha I, I, I do have it. But I've also... I'm at a bit of a crossroads, and so I'm going to be asking you, the viewer, on YouTube, as well as Twitch, um, what tech tree you want to see me go down. Now, please bear in mind, I plan on going down the original three. Excuse me. What I mean by that is, when I first started playing World of Tanks, there was only three nations. There was America, there was Germany, and there was Russia. That was it. That was it. There wasn't Japan, or England, or China, or Sweden, or Italy, or Denmark, or Finland, or whatever. It, it was just literally three nations. Un, deux, trois. That's it. America. I'm now at tier 10 with. Do I comfortably play tier 10? I try. I'm not going to say I am the best, but I do try. I do try and play tier 10. I do have the T28 concept uh, tank from the campaigns. Um, I am in the process of trying to get the T55A. Um, however, my biggest problem that I have currently right now is Wargaming have not updated the artillery missions. And so with artillery being nerfed the way they have, and I'm sorry, I will always see this as a nerf. Um, I really don't see me getting any more of the tanks. I, I genuinely just don't. Reason being is... I ended up using a lot of the bonds, as you can see here, to get these missions done. Um, enable your allies to cause 1,500 hit points worth of damage and cause 1,500 hit points of damage yourself. I could de do one or the other. I could never do both. So I ended up using my bonds to get that one done. And the other one is stun uh, two enemy vehicles with a single shot twice. I could do it once, but I could never do it twice. And then the other one is stun for a hundred seconds. Are you crazy? Wargaming, you haven't, you have not fixed this. You haven't fixed it. You haven't looked at the missions. By all means, keep trying to find a good balance between your units. That's a good thing. But please stop beating artillery down with the nerf stick. Because heavy tanks refuse to push up. Because medium tanks refuse to push up. I, I'm just... Oh, please. You know... It, it, it's it makes me it, it literally makes me second guess your entire development team and and what you've got planned etc etc anyway guys i'm gonna throw it out to you i'm i'm only going to be doing germany and russia as you can see i do have the is2 Dash 2. I do have the IS-3 unlocked, but I don't own it yet. I do have an ISU-152K slash uh, ISU-152. I do have, you know, some, some decent tanks. Um, in the Germans, I'm up to the Panther 2. I, I do have a Panzer 58 Mutz. I do have a VK-16801, i.e. a Malenbrecher. Um... You know, I, I do have Panther M10s. I, I do have a few tanks. I have also sold a few tanks. Um, for example, I don't own my VK-136 uh, anymore. The the early, like, Tier 5 German heavy tank that's just useless. Um, 
It's slow, so you think, okay, I've got armor, but you don't. So I'm slow with no armor and a crap gun. It is like the M3 Lee of the German German tech line. It really is. Um, so I do have a few tanks already in those two nations. And so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to have I'm I'm going to ask you guys to comment on this video what nation you want to see me go down whether it be Russia or whether it be Germany. And whoever wins the most out of those two, um, I will start live streaming on Twitch, going down those tech trees and uh, evolving and growing. Um, what I'm going to do to you know, fluff out the video a little bit, because you know a 10 minute mark, you can kind of get you know, a little bit of monetization going on. Um, I'm going to show you where I'm at. Um, in the uh, Soviet tech tree, um, I'm up to, like I said, I'm up to the IS-3, which is tier 8, um, slash ISU-152, tier 8. Um, medium tanks-wise, I kind of stalled out at the T-34-85, um, mostly because the T-34-85, in my honest opinion, it's an interesting tank, um, but it's just not my favourite. Um, I'm, 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 I'm an M4 Sherman kind of guy. I like my M4 Sherman. Um, especially my easy eight. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at there. And in the German tech tree, um, I am at the Panther two. So technically tier eight with the Germans as well, because the Indian Panzer is there. Um, it's unlocked. I just have not purchased it yet. Um, as for heavy tanks, I am like I said, the VK three six zero one. It was at that weird step where to me it was just underpowered under armored and yeah it just it, it didn't scream useful i mean even the 8.8 .8 gun that you get you know 145 pen 220 alpha is it is the gun that you get on the tiger i get that however you know granted it will unlock the tiger one and the tiger two but it is a chore of a grind. And if you guys want, I, I will repurchase the tank. I still do have my crew uh, for her. I mean, I believe they're inside my um, VK. Yeah, see, they're inside my VK. I still do have my, my full crew that have, like, tier 3, tier 4 skills. There you go. She's on her fourth skill. She's on her fourth skill. Like I said, it wasn't my crew. It was just genuinely, I just didn't get along with the tank. It didn't vibe with me. So, I'm going to leave that there with you guys. So, we do have some premium tanks to help, you know, cover the cost of running some higher tier games. So, if you guys want, um, check me out on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Deceptive Cobras. Uh, link will be in the video description. And I, I will see you all on the battlefield, guys. So, uh, until then, keep your shows fine keep your enemies dying cover commander is out and i'll see you guys in the next video